Hi Flosstube, I'm Sally. I'm Stitchy Sally here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Today is the 31st of July 2024 and this is Flosstube number 82. A very warm welcome, whether you are a new or a returning viewer, it is lovely to have you here. Um, if you do like what you see, it would be lovely if you would hit the subscribe button and like my video. And obviously if you have time, um, if you could leave me a comment, that would be really lovely. Um, I do always try to reply to every comment, um, but if at any time I can't, I will make sure that I um, heart them all. Um, so I've got quite a bit to show you today. I have been doing quite a bit of finishing, fully finishing. Um, I have one which was um, a finish and a fully finish since last time. So I'm going to start by showing you my book of uh, book of days. It's not a book of days. It's a planner, five year planner that I got off Amazon um, for July. So nothing in for, for today yet uh, because I shall be stitching this evening. Um, so as you can see, I have stitched every day this month. I've had a few new starts. Um, so yeah, quite a productive month actually. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Uh, for anybody who is interested, I know I've mentioned this before, but just in case you're new, um, this is a five year diary from Amazon and it is by, oh, where does it say who it's by? There we go, lovely little press. <laughs> On the back, didn't see it. I must be blind. Um, yeah, so I will start with um, my FFOs. As I say, I've been quite busy. I got my sewing machine out one afternoon last week and sewed some pillars up. Um, and then I got trims on them. I don't know whether it was Saturday or Sunday, Sunday, I think. And um, added some charms to a couple of them. Um, yeah, so I've been quite productive actually. Uh, it does take a lot to get me that productive, but when I do, I, I'm away. So the first finish that I will show you was a whip last time, and it was this one, the Primitive Hair Cross Stitch Collector. Um, so as I said before, you get this, back, this black backing board, you get uh, two buttons and you get the fabric um, with the chart. And I purchased this with um, a gift certificate that I was given uh, Christmas, well, just before Christmas 2022. And I put that towards this. And it was a Nashville exclusive from 2022. Um, and there we are. All done. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that. The the two buttons are different, which I think is quite nice actually, because it's like you know you're taking buttons from from stash, which is nice. Um, the only thing I didn't do was there's I can't remember what sort of a stitch it is without opening up opening it up. I don't know what sort of a stitch it was, but I I started to do it, and then I thought no, it's it. I'm not even going to try it. I'm just going to leave it. I, I like it as is, so that will do. So that was one of my finishes. So all I did with this was I cut some card, laced it onto the card and then stuck it on the board. So I might have to put that back there during my lost tubes maybe. So really, really pleased with that one. And then, as I say, I did some pillow finishing. So this one um, is um, <coughs> Blackbird Designs Summerberry Pink Keep. Sorry about that. Uh, Blackbird Designs Summerberry Pink Keep from Agnes Platt's Strawberry Sampler Leaflet. Um, I didn't stitch the border on this and there was some little doodads that I didn't stitch on it either. So just finished that as a pillow. There's that fabric on the back. Um, 2024 charm, which you can't quite see. <clears throat> so 
so yeah really really pleased with that so that was stitched on 32 count I can't remember um, Stormy Skies possibly and I used a mixture of DMC and the hand dyed glosses just depended on what I had in my stash <coughs> and then um, I finished this one which is uh, Jardin Privé Boule de Neige 3 I think it was and that is on a 32 count blue spruce so it's not that long since I finished this um, stitched it with DMC so I've got a little snowflake charm on there and just use that backing fabric 2024 charm and some chenille trim that came from the works and that other one the black bear designs ones that is also chenille trim from the works and then whoops upside down <coughs> finish this one and that is mama loves ugb flights of angels it was in the patchwork rabbits advent box and then the Patchwork Rabbit released it as a standalone um, chart and that was stitched on a scrap of 36 count mm, I can't remember the dyer's name now but it's called Latte she used to sell on Instagram but she hasn't done for quite a while now um, I stitched Christmas Garden on it so I just added a little angel charm there. Um, I'm trying to use fabric, backing fabrics from Stash. So I just use this poppy one, um, 2024 charm. And again, the chenille trim from the wax. And then this one, which hasn't turned out quite as I wanted it, but um, heart in hand bluebird sampler, which I stitched with Sarah, Sermi Sarah, for the Fun for 50 Sal 2024 <clears throat> that her and Sally uh, Flossy Stones and Grows are doing. So this was stitched on 32 count vintage country mocha um, using Roxy Floss Co Great Lakes, which was a gift from Sally for my 60th birthday. And then I've just added this um, rickrack can't remember the colour name but it's um, a lady dot creates and I attached it with some of the leftover beads off the chart use this blue fabric and I haven't put a charm on that because obviously it says 2024 there so no need to really and then I finished Barbara Anna Designs Garden of Dreams. Um, the hoop is slightly big, but I didn't really want to order any more, so I just decided to go with it. Um, at some point, I might put something around it. I don't really know yet. So that was stitched on 32 count raw linen um, using the Call for DMC, and then I just found that ribbon in my haul uh, haul stash I don't have any haul um, I haven't done anything with the back of it yet because I don't have a big enough um, piece of felt and I might just leave it like that it's only it's going on my wall it's it's um, it's for me so I don't think it really matters <clears throat> and then this one so this was the Sudi Day um, Advent Sal for 2023 and it was designed by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. Um, so the finish was finished into a drum so I decided that I would do the same. Um, and I am really pleased with that, actually, with this actually. It, it is quite straight, it may not look quite straight but it is. <laughs> Um, if I make a bit of a mess of things to be perfectly honest I'm not that bothered because 
I'm finishing. I'm getting them finished. So, but I am really, really pleased with that. And it is such a cute, cute design. So this one, I managed to find my pack of 2023 charms because I did actually finish this at the end of 2023. So I used some pink fabric. Um, that was a gift from a lovely friend Mouse a while ago, Tales of a Stitching Mouse. And then just added some chenille trim again from the works. <clears throat> and then last but by no means the least and I am, I cannot tell you how chuffed I am with this piece ta-da so this is Stacey Nash Designs A Wonderful Life Pinky Drum uh, which was one of my 6 for 60 in December absolutely love this so as you can see, I finished it into a drum. 2024 charm. It's not perfect, but you know what? I don't care. And these are just filled with um, uh, fibre filling, hollow fibre filling. Um, I don't use uh, sawdust or um, lizard litter I'd rather use this stuff but yeah really really pleased with that absolutely love 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 it so those are all my finishes my fully finishes so I'm just going to grab a drink And we will move on to whips. Don't have any new starts. Well, I do, but I can't show you it because it's secret stitching. <clears throat> so, so this is With Thy Hands by Teresa Kurgutz. And this is the final piece of my six for 60. I had six new starts in December for my 60th birthday. Started five beforehand in December then, so then then started this on my actual birthday and um, lovely Elaine, Ellie Welly Stitcher, she's joining, she joined me with this and we are both quite close to a finish as well so and I must say it's been absolutely lovely to stitch this along with Elaine and um, Sally at Flossie Sews and Grows, lovely Sally, she was going to stitch it as well but unfortunately she couldn't get the chart so she has actually recently started this as one of her, one of her 50 new starts for this year um, and I hope you enjoy it as much as Elaine and I have Sally because it, it is such a lovely stitch so I am stitching this with the cold for DMC and um, I have substituted using the chart um, the three weeks dye works for DMC and I'm stitching it on 40 count vintage country mocker and that is where I am so I have just about stitched all the inside of the chart I do have to I think I'm, I mentioned last time I do have to fill in in these bits here I was going to leave them blank then I forgot because I thought the color of the fabric is damn near the same color as the thread but I forgot so I started stitching them so I'll just have to carry on so I'm now working my way around the border and I will have bits obviously to go back and fill in around the border but hopefully that will soon be a finish for both of us as I say I've, I've loved this I've loved every single stitch of it And I, I don't think I don't think I could pick a favourite to be honest out of the six that I chose um, for my sixtieth. I I love every single one of them. So yeah, that should be quite a mammoth finish before much longer. I think I, I think it'll be maybe another two three weeks actually by the time um, I finish it. Right. 
next whip is Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird Designs. And as I've mentioned before, this drives me mad. Lots of little bits and pieces all over the place and you have to keep double checking what you've got left to do and, and everything. Um, colour changes. But it's pretty, so it's a good job it is pretty because otherwise, believe me, I would probably have binned it by now or passed it on or something. So I'm stitching this um, with, <clears throat> on a Tuesday night, I do a, a Black Bear Design Salt with my dear friends uh, Bab, who is BattyBat210 on Instagram, and Mouse, Tales for Stitching Mouse, also over on Instagram. Um, and I am also stitching this particular chart with um, lovely Yoanita, who is Yoanita Stitchy Things on Instagram and also here on YouTube, and Audrey, who is Oddbod on. Um, where's that come from? <coughs> Sorry, piece of thread, no idea, don't even know which one it is, I'll sort it out after. On Instagram, um, so I'm using a mixture of the called for hand dyes, um, and if I don't have them, I'm using DMC. And I'm stitching this on um, 40 count picture this plus bashful, so it's it's quite diddy. So there we are. So I've been working a bit on the border. I've also been working on filling some bits on um, on the inside. Some of the berries in the border are the wrong colour. <clears throat> um, I think these are the wrong colour, but I don't care. They're staying as they are. Um, there's a lot of teeny tiny doodads all over this. I may well not stitch them. Um, I'll have to see see how I feel uh, as much as I love it I can't wait to see the back of it I cannot wait to get it finished I don't want to wish my life away to be honest but um, yeah I, I just want to get it finished I, I might have to have a break from from Black Bear Designs or choose one that is not quite quite so intense <laughs> I love my blackbirds. Not all of them. I don't. I don't like all of them. Oh, sorry. I've forgotten to uh, unzip that. I'll just do that quickly. Uh, so my next whip is Barbara Anna Designs Dreaming in the Seashore, and I don't think this is available other than in the PMPS magazine 2022 summer 2022. I don't. Think think not entirely sure if you look on creative poppy it may be there i'm not entirely sure um i've been going to start this for ages never just never got around to it and then when i'd finished garden of dreams i decided that this was going to be my next one eventually i i i struggled to make my mind up what i wanted to start but yeah this one and I stitch Barbara Anna Wednesdays with lovely Sally at Flossy Sews and Grows. And also um, Audrey the Fancy Froggy. Sue, who is Walker dot eleven, I think, on Instagram. But it, it'll all be in the description box down below if you want to go and follow anybody. Um, and also Debbie, Debbie Ann 2018. So I am using the Cold for DMCs. And I don't know the, what fabric this is. Um, it was some that I picked out of my stash. I, I put it with the pattern ages ago, so I don't know. Um, I don't actually know what it is. But there we are. Isn't she beautiful? absolutely beautiful that's my needle minder there is from caterpillar cross stitch it's the uh, taylor swift inspired one yeah 
really really pleased with how she's looking just love the colors absolutely love the colors so I, I can't remember who it is but somebody has started dreaming Frida and ever since I've seen her start on that I'm thinking I want to do dreaming Frida next but we'll see we shall see and then my next whip oops those are my scissors uh, is Little House Needleworks My Jeep I stitched this on a Friday with my lovely friend Barb, Batty Bat 210. At the moment we stitch sheep on a Friday. We've done it for quite a while actually and we keep saying we're going to have a change. Um, we are actually going to start at some point um, Needlework Press Be A Friend. And I'm stitching this with DMC. Um, I didn't have any of the um, classic colour works so I just use the DMC substitutes and this is on a piece of 32 count I think it's cream off white not entirely sure it's not so I got it's um it's quite a thin a thin fabric but there we go so as you can see I have two sheep I have a house I have a couple of plant pots. Now I have made a mistake. <laughs> of course I have, because yeah. Um so there should be I don't know if you can see two rows in between the windows and here I've only done one row. And I'm not unpicking it. The only reason I realised was when I was stitching this here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an extra row to the roof and then that'll just make it right for if I want to work off the roof anywhere but yeah love how that's looking it's been a long time really since I've stitched a little house needlework so it's quite nice to get back to it get back to one should I say I do have some in <clears throat> I can't speak I do have some in my stash I was gifted one a while ago. Um, right, next whip. So this kind of got thrown in the naughty corner. So this is Blackbird Designs Merry December. And I am stitching this one. Oops, sorry, glare. Uh, which is Snowy Eve. And I merrily stitched the house and then when I came to stitch this tree here I started where it goes into the house and I thought this doesn't look right it looks exactly the same shade as this side of the house yeah that's because there's three charts in this obviously three stockings three keys and if it uses the same thread colour, it's a different key. It's, yeah, different key, so a different symbol is what I'm trying to say. And I had looked, not thinking, looked at one of the others, and yeah. So I unpicked it, got it, I did get it restitched last Saturday, so it's, it's looking better now. So yeah, I had stitched this green shade that is on the tree instead of this shade so yeah that's that's looking better now so I do really really need to be more careful but why not why make them a different symbol why not just make them the same symbol if you're using the same thread color use the same symbol that's my only gripe that's my gripe And my final whip it is this one and it is Long Dog Samplers The Pilgrim 
um, I think last time I showed this I'd finished page four so I'm not doing bad really I would have liked to have finished it in a year maybe but I think it's I'm, I'm not going to do that there's no way I'm doing that because um, it's 12 pages and sometimes they take me three months sometimes sometimes it's two and uh, <clears throat> I'm on this page here now which as you can see is an awful awful lot in this page well it cuts off here I think so I am taking part in a few hashtags um, Lovely Elaine, Ellie Wally Stitcher, she was starting a saga for her birthday and I said I would like to join in with her but not with saga, with this one. So that is the hashtag let's get the dogs out Sal. And then Amanda, lovely Amanda Alba Stitcher who has just got engaged, congratulations Amanda. Um, yeah she was starting her first long dog so I said I'd like to start mine as well with you so we are using the hashtag my first long dog sal and then there's a group of ladies who stitch long dogs on a sunday so i am joining in with that and that's uh, long dog sampler sunday so i'm using anchor black dmc white and um i have to look every time i should know this by now carries creations old world red for the wedding and um yeah, so I have made a start on uh, page five. Uh, can I get it in? Yes, I can. There we are. So I've got uh, so much of the fox done. Working my way down with this bit here. Bit, it's a big bit is that bit actually but I'm not put off by anything on this chart it's, I'm just loving it absolutely loving it I am hoping that this will not be my last long dog I mean I do have another one in my stash Um, yeah I really really love it thoroughly enjoying it so that's everything oh, oh dear me <laughs> for my whips so bear with me while I fold this back up and put it away so tonight I'll be stitching on my Barbara Anna and uh, I'm going to be using Thursdays for, for secret stitching for a bit I think now um, Sorry, I'm just looking at, wondering why my sunglasses are on the table. <laughs> Usually I take everything off the off the table at this end when I film because stuff gets in the way and I left my sunglasses. Right, so what shall we do now? Ah, so I had a giveaway, a couple of giveaways last time, a couple of, a couple of charts that I was giving away. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I forgot to say actually that my, I don't think I did say it, my third floss tube anniversary was at the end of May. So yeah, here we are, it's nearly August. Um, so the, <clears throat> one of the charts I was giving away was this one. And it's Little House Needleworks, giving thanks. And it also includes a bonus chart called Needles and Pins. And I asked you to use the word thankful. Um, I'm not going to do any replying to comments. Um, I'm just going to announce the winners in the in this video. And then if you don't get back to me within maybe a month, I'll re, um, redraw it. So I did these this morning. So the winner of that one is Esther Raval7909. So congratulations Esther, I know you are a long time viewer of my floss tubes. So if you could get in touch with me on the 
email address in the description box down below or on Instagram and I will get that in the post to you and then the other one was another little house needleworks and it is a sampler hat and I asked you to use the word hat and the winner for this one is Mary Turner 631 again Mary is a long time viewer of mine and congratulations Mary um, if now I do have an address for you I think from 2022 so if you're still at the same address um, if you just let me know either by the email down below or on Instagram message me on Instagram and I'll get that in the post to you so congratulations to both of you Esther and Mary so I will get them in the post um, as soon as I can right um, plans I never make plans really do I because sometimes I tend to break plans if I make them I break them so what's the point really so I will just carry on um, stitching what I'm stitching uh, have new starts um, and I've still got some cells planned with people um, well not plans just just sort of there in the in the background just ready for when we fancy starting things um, next year I may well cut back and just do one or two instead of doing a few I will see see how I feel um, don't have any haul it's August tomorrow I may well have haul next time not a lot um, because I don't want to buy a lot um, I did promise myself that um, I could buy in April, August and December it's three times a year just um, and that's charts basically if I need up fabric and thread then I'll just get it because otherwise I can't stitch can I? Um, right I have been watching some floss tubes um, a lot of these I've mentioned before but I will mention them again um, I'm just going to uh, mention them and if you would like to go and have a look at them um, please do so I've watched Lindsay, Cheshire Stitcher um, I think I watch Lindsay nearly, probably nearly every time actually that I've, that I've uh, I know I didn't mention anybody last time because I hadn't really well I hadn't, I just hadn't been watching Lost You last time um, so Lindsay is under a thousand subscribers as well so if you would go and, and give us some love, say hello um, and subscribe um, I watched Deb, Deb Wilson Stitches um, then I watched Nat who is so underscore stitch underscore Nat um, and Nat is also under a thousand subscribers so if you could pop across to her and give her some love and then I watched Caroline who is Caroline's Corner um, she's not only a stitcher she also does um, knitting um, my mind's gone blank yeah so yeah if you could pop over and um, say hello to Caroline she is also under a thousand subs just turn the page I've watched uh, Sharon Magnolia Magnolia Nana and um, she showed her lovely dog Lucy as well she's gorgeous is Lucy absolutely gorgeous Sharon's lovely as well don't get me wrong I don't just watch for Lucy when Lucy's on um, and then I've watched Denise who is Black Ribbon Stitch Studio um, I've watched Kayla and Lauren Stitching with My Littley um, they are also under a thousand subs so do go over and say hello to them and um, that's uh, mum and daughter they are absolutely brilliant together absolutely brilliant um, and then I've watched Natalie at Home Sweet Home Handmade um, and she showed her two lovely cats Simon and Percy um, I've watched Sally who is Flossy Sews and Grows you, you will all know Sally um, and of course Sally is doing um, the fun for 50 Sal 2024 in her 50th year um, then there is uh, I've watched Lynn the Lancashire Stitcher I've watched Charlotte, High Heel Stitcher, who is also under 1,000 subs, so if you could go across and um, have a watch of her and subscribe. Um, 
and then there's a new floss tuber and I haven't I've watched so much of her floss tube but her second floss tube the first floss tube was a whip parade and I don't tend to watch whip parades because if I watch whip parades I don't get other floss tubes watched so I don't tend to watch whip parades um, and that's, that's just my choice um, I'm not saying that I don't like them it's just that it takes me away from, from the normal floss tubes um, so and that is Abby um, I think she's Abby in stitches but I will put a link in uh, below to her floss tube so I'm so far through watching her second floss tube I need to finish watching it and um, so yeah new floss tube so do go and say hello to her um, and she is um, she has a shop on Etsy called Project Stitchcraft um, which I've mentioned before I did win win some of her floss drops from her um, on Instagram and I also bought some before Christmas I think maybe I can't actually remember but I did buy some um, so yeah those are the floss tubers that I've watched so uh, I'll just do a very quick life update it might not be quick actually now that I come to think of it <laughs> um, so you may remember a while ago that Jess got a diagnosis of inattentive ADHD um, and the psychologist, psychiatrist, don't know which um, that she spoke to um, said he would like to try with therapy first so get the doctor to do a referral for therapy and it basically turns out that there is no ADHD therapy in our area <laughs> I was I not surprised with that one um, so he was writing to East Riding therapists or something to see if they could help if they had any suggestions um, and this is basically the same place who said that she wasn't she wasn't bad enough for therapy when she was really really struggling with her anxiety so kind of knew it was doubtful really so uh, they can't help her she's she's had back um, and she had an appointment with the doctor yesterday they can't help her um, so there is ADHD therapy for children and autism therapy for adults in this area but no ADHD therapy for adults so again basically it's help yourself <laughs> i'm not having a go at the nhs because it's the way it is they're they're underfunded badly managed and that's all i'm going to say um and i went back to the doctors about my cough last week because i was not supposed to go back to see how i was doing with the stronger nasal spray um I did take it on myself, I don't know whether I mentioned it last time, to try some antihistamines again just to see if they would help. Now I don't know whether it was the antihistamines or whether, I mean I've been using this, the stronger nasal spray for about four or five weeks and it hadn't really helped but then it seemed like when I was taking the, the antihistamines, they're only a 10 milligram off the shelf um, in Tesco's, they seem to help so I don't really know. So what the doctor decided was to give me a stronger antihistamine. So I'm now on fexofenadine. Um, I started those on Monday. And it does feel a little bit like it's got worse actually. But anyway, we'll see. Maybe once it gets in there and um, we'll see how it goes. Um, so while I was at the doctor's, I did say to him, I know I'm not supposed to ask about anything else, but I'm going to do while I'm here. Um, so I have a, a spot on me here that will not heal. And he thinks it's a basal cell carcinoma. So I am just waiting to hear. He took some photos and sent them off to the plastic surgeon. So I'm just waiting to see what they say, if they think it's that, and 
um, if it is get an appointment to see what's what's happening with it I've had it a while I know stupid I should have gone to see about it but I just thought it's a spot in an awkward place that will not heal because I sleep on that side as well so yeah just waiting to see what they say um, He says they don't grow very fast and they don't tend to spread to other areas of your body. So we'll see. We'll just see what, what's what. So yeah, welcome to the 60s. <laughs> um, I'm not, well, I say I'm not unduly worried sometimes. Sometimes when I'm on my own and I think a bit, um, it does worry me but it, it is what it is isn't it so there's people are damn sight worse off than I am um so yeah I think that is everything for this time I'm at 41 minutes I'm going to go so I'll say next time I might have some haul well I'm more than likely will have some haul because I've already seen a chart that I would really really like I am trying not to go with bigger charts um I was thinking maybe I can stitch something over one on 25 count, make it smaller. Um, so we'll see. Lauren at Flossibility, she's just brought out the most gorgeous, gorgeous winter chart. Um, and I think if, if she does a printed copy of it, I might have to have it. And like I say, maybe stitch it uh, over one. Or maybe on a 40 count, make it smaller. <laughs> this, this is me thinking now, um, you know, sort of looking at my charts and thinking, mm, that's a big one, maybe I won't do that one. Um, I ran out of wall space and trying to find frames, inexpensive frames, um, is not easy. I keep looking around the charity shops to see. Um, Anyway, I will be doing some more finishing because I have got a frame coming from the range. I, I ordered some um, mount board. I buy their big, big things of mount board to cut down for like doing drums or framing or whatever. So I've got some of that coming and I ordered a frame for um, Stitch Rovia, the simple things that uh, a few of us did a sal with. Um, Yo Anita stitchy thing, she was she was stitching it and me and then a few other people joined in. So I might have that frame next time if that arrives anytime soon. Um so yeah, I think uh, I think that's everything actually. Um hoping to get a bit out a bit more. The weather's nice, maybe a bit too hot for me, but hoping we can maybe get out a bit. Um, so yeah that's it I'm going because I'm just waffling aren't I um, and I'd like to say welcome to any new subscribers I've had recently um, I have had a slight <coughs> <coughs> sorry excuse me uptake um, I think I'm 31 away from 1500 subscribers which considering I never thought I'd get to a thousand is really good three years really so yeah thank you so much for watching and um just keeping coming back and listening to me waffle <laughs> so hopefully i will see you again in two weeks time take care everybody and enjoy every single stitch thank you bye bye